Hey guys, what's up? I want to share with you a little bit about the story behind the song Open Hands. Um, basically, what happened was I uh, got together with a friend and we were going to do a co-writing session. Did that. I started sharing with him about what the Lord had been teaching me. And at the time it was, um, and still is, um, it's living with open hands. Um, and what that means to me is that there's, there's so many commands uh, in the scriptures that Jesus gives to us and it seems like at every turn of our lives he keeps us from being comfortable um, you know in, in the sense that um, you know he says if anyone wants to be my disciple he must give up all his possessions um, he says if you want to be my disciple you've got to hate your life he says uh, go and um, make disciples of all nations and these these commands that Jesus gives he always keeps us from becoming comfortable and we have to uh, if we're His disciples and we want to obey Him, we have to live our lives in such a way that we're open to whatever He says at any moment. We can drop anything and everything and say, Jesus, I surrender to You. It's not about singing, just singing this way, but it's about living this way. Every dream, every plan, every hope, every aspiration, every possession that we have, everything that we are, literally, uh, living this way to God, saying, Jesus, it's not mine anymore. I'm opening my hands up. I'm re releasing ownership of my life, and I'm surrendering to you. And the powerful thing in that, to me, is, that, is what the chorus says. It says, free at last, I surrender all I am with open hands. And a lot of times, um, we as Christians sometimes think of surrender as kind of a, a begrudging thing, like, God, you know, okay, I have to give all these things up, I have to give God everything, but the truth is, is that surrender, surrender is the most freeing thing we could possibly do um, because God gives us His commands for our good. And, you know, we, we can choose, if we want, to live our lives taking everything and keeping everything for ourselves, our money, our possessions, our plans, our stuff, me, me, my, my. But what's going to happen is at the end of our lives, we're going to realize that it was all a big, fat waste. And so God is, in His mercy, is saving us from ourselves when He asks us to surrender, when He asks us to give up our possessions, to go sell everything you have and give to the poor. That's God's mercy to us. It's not only His mercy to the world, but it's His mercy to us. And what you're going to find, I think, is when uh, the more and more you live surrendered, the freer you're truly going to become.